What's going on guys? Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and I have another property tour for you guys today. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours, property tours, and real estate information. Now, as usual, just a little bit of background information about the neighborhood. So we're going to be in Olympia. Olympia is a neighborhood of over 1,700 homes, about 1,762 homes specifically. The median price point out there is going to be a little bit over $860,000. And the average size of the home is going to be five bedrooms, three and a half baths, a little bit over 3,300 square feet. So these are very, very large homes, perfect for raising families as is it's as it's smack dab located right in the middle of schools such as elementary schools, high schools, and middle schools. And it's directly across the street from tons of shopping and restaurants as well. So this community is really, really built for raising families. So if you do have a family or you're looking to relocate down or move into a larger home where you can raise your family or have a multi-generational home, this neighborhood would be something that you would wanna look into. Now the property we're going to be checking out today is going to be a two-story, five-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath home that features a little bit over 3,600 square feet. So without further ado, let's go. Right, guys, we're in the entryway checking out this five bedroom, four and a half bath that spans over 3,600 square feet. We are in the entryway right now, and I'm going to pan up to start. It almost reminds you like an atrium upon entry, which is nice because you have the spiral staircase leading up to the second floor, which we'll check out in a bit. And we're going to start off immediately to my left with the first bedroom. This would be perfect for guests. Beautiful hardwood floors, front facing window, high ceilings as well. You have the standard stand-in shower. The bed, so pretty nice. Nice. Of course, you have the small closet to the right. Now, this first floor has a beautiful open floor plan. And what's interesting about this is when you upon entry, guests won't have a hard time finding the guest bath because it's right off the entryway. I know sometimes when you have people visit, the first thing they do is, hey, where's your restroom? So pretty easy to find right off the entryway there. Open floor plan here, as you see, they have this as your dining area. So this could be how they have it simply where the floor plan, I wouldn't really change it if this was my home. We we'll kind of keep the, the layout the same with a nice dining room here. This can kind of be a flex space. They have a nice grand piano here set up. Um, so, but if you do have maybe small children, um, toddlers, and you need them to be on the first floor so you can kind of keep an eye on them. This could maybe be that flex space where you set up maybe a comfortable, you know, exercise pads and gated in with those children's square gates that they have. Now off to the right, you have the countertop set up with the bar set up as well as tons of storage as we see in newly renovated homes storage is always an issue so this home has been renovated for sale so the owners have definitely played up to the requirements of new buyers in today's market and they are definitely having the standard farmhouse sink what i see in many of my tours as well as the standard storage space it looks like they even added some additional storage space on the end here because I know in some models, this would kind of be open for the dining area. So they added some additional storage. Floor plan is open. I love the way they did with the 
pendant lights. And almost a Bahamian vibe or Bali vibe. It's very nice. Right over the sink as well. Open floor plan to the kitchen. Not the kitchen, the living room. So you can kind of be connected to the space as well if you're having guests. If you're in the kitchen preparing a meal, you're not excluded from what's happening in the main area of space of people sitting down. Maybe you're watching a game, especially during football season. You can still be connected. Now, I do love the way they set up this living room. It's almost an African theme with the design of the giraffe. But look at the accent wall that they have done here. Beautifully done. It does add a bit of contrast to the room as well. Window treatments kind of play off the design of the wall as well. Nicely done. Backyard space we'll check out in a minute. Now, what's interesting and what I did not expect coming into this house was this office space here. Now, I will call it an office because I can't call it a bedroom because I don't think this room here is a closet. I think this is the garage. Uh, yes. So this is the garage. So you can't really call this a, um, a true bedroom, but you would use this as an additional flex space or an additional entertainment room. This can kind of be a, a flex space for your children as well if you didn't want them in the living room outside where I pointed out to earlier. They use this as a wonderful office space, but you know, you can do a lot of different things with this space because it is rather large. So something I did not expect right off the living room. Now with that being said, that's gonna do it for the first floor. Let's go check out the second level. Now, welcome to the second floor. We're gonna check out three bedrooms. Each of these bedrooms has a bath. And right off to my right is going to be the laundry. Now, a lot of times in the homes that I tour, the laundry will be on the first floor. And I can say it is an added benefit to have the laundry room being on the second floor. Being that it is, most of your clothing is in your bedroom and most of the bedrooms are upstairs. So who wants to go ahead and lug clothes downstairs, close to the garage or where have you, where that may be on the second floor. So that is a great, great design of having the laundry room on, being on the second floor. First of the smaller two bedrooms outside of the primary suite. Now there are some personal items in here, so I'll be respectful of that in the closet area. So I won't show you guys that, but the closet area is a little bit of a walk-in space as well as a full bath, which is nice. So each of the bedrooms has a full bath. And we'll go right next door with the same layout. Although this one does not have the walk-in design, but it does have the full bath as well. Now, with that being said, let's go check out the primary suite. Now, I'll tell you guys this. I've been in a lot of properties. This has to be one of the best primary suites that I have ever seen in a house. And I've seen multi-million dollar homes. I've seen, and I have not seen a primary suite like this. So upon entry, you have an extremely large space, recessed lighting, beautiful hardwood floors throughout. As you can see the same thing in each of the bedrooms, very large space, ample room for even a California King. Now, right off the bedroom, you have what's interesting is a full length mirror to check out your outfit right off the closet. So you don't need to buy one of those full length mirrors. You have one already built in, already designed. Now, if you can check out the 
custom closet. Beautifully done. Some nice aesthetics inside as well. Kind of give you an idea of what do you need. You can even fit a mannequin in this closet. You do have the middle for your unmentionables. But there's no shortage of space in this closet. Now, let's check out the primary bath. Full length tub, separate tub, shepherd shower entryway, frameless glass door, dual vanities for his and hers, as well as the separate space for the toilet. Now, what separates this bedroom from any other primary suite that I've ever seen is this space here. This is included in the primary suite. Additional space for closet. So if you didn't have room in the rather large closet as well, this could be an additional space as well for you. Now they've made it as a music room slash office space, but I mean, I've never seen this in a primary suite right off your bedroom. Now, if you have a child or you have a newborn and you didn't want to put them in a separate room, this is their space right off the bedroom of your bedroom, inside your bedroom. Now that I think is cool. So you almost have two rooms in one room, but I'm also not done. Right off the primary suite, you do have your own outdoor patio now with a water front view of the lake, as well as overlooking your backyard. So if you wanted to put in an additional pool, and I'll go ahead and do the review of the backyard since I'm on the second floor. If you wanted to put an additional pool in the backyard, you can. And still have additional room for the backyard space for some grass as well. And then you also have a lake view. So with that being said, I guess I'll end the video here on the balcony. If you guys are interested in maybe putting your house on the market or you guys are interested in calling South Florida your home, just click the link in my bio in the description below. We'll be in touch. Until then, peace.